Hello, Sky, everybody. Man. Why does that... You know what? I'm rather sad that the stinger does that a lot now. Ah, yeah. But anyway, Sky, uh, thank you all so much for coming. Sorry, I'm about a little bit late. Um, but uh, we are here. And um, <laughs> today, I've become a calm size student. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm feeling okay. Yeah, the stinger glitching feels thematic with programming games. I I guess you're right. I guess so. Um, Crimson DX, thank you very much for the 12 month membership flex. Hello, Sky. Long time no see. Hello, welcome. Uh, thank you for joining us today. And hang on, let me check something. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't think um. Because I saw a few comments in the pre-chat and then I went to go check the activity feed on stream to see if anything happened But it doesn't seem like anything out of the ordinary has happened. So uh, uh, just, I just wanted to check um, Anyway uh, Today's first game. We'll be having two games here is um, Bots are stupid where in it's a much more beginner friendly perhaps for those who aren't initiated at all with coding whatsoever um it's like a platformer game where instead of normally controlling your character which is the little robot guy you have to um what's it called um code your movements and actions basically so yeah <laughs> <laughs> and um, the second game for later is called Joy of Programming. And um, so I, I gave it a quick little check, Joy of Programming, to see how much prior knowledge I would need uh, in order to be able to code in Python later. Um, it, <laughs> it, it, um... It shows you a bunch of terms already that I did not understand, so I summoned Skybro for help and he just laid down a lot of different explanations for me and I'm like, I <laughs> Um Dona programming Naruka Tanoshimi Sodane Eto Imanoa Eto Platform Platform game is yeah. We'll be programming the player characters' movements. Um, badges! Hammer Jokery, thank you for the 12 month membership flex! And Python is magic, just learn the spells you need to cast for each situation. Okay. Um, and then. So. Yeah, um, like apparently the game's tutorial for Joy of Programming does teach you the basics, sort of. But um, all I know is that Google will be my best friend, and if ever I need a lifeline, I will probably, <laughs> I will either ask chat if we have programmers in chat familiar with it, or I will call a friend, mute my mic, and summon Skype for help. <laughs> So yeah, we got a lot of comments in chat. I figured, I figured, you know, you know, it's it's that demographic. <laughs> so um, yeah, let's let's get into the to bots are stupid and see how it goes. Cause like I have very very minimal knowledge. All I know is that you have to end each line with a semicolon. I think. <laughs> okay. So instructions. Hi there. I am the intro bot 3000. I will help you get started. This is your bot, your bot. You can give it instructions on the left. Your goal is to reach the portal down there. Okay. Let's start with the first command. Move right. It tells your bot to start moving until instructed. Otherwise, you can either type it out yourself or drag and drop from above. Next, press play to start the instructions. All right, so move right. Oh, it also has autofill. Um, let me see. Press play or alternatively alt enter. All right. All right. You'll need you'll then need to use a wait command to tell your bot how long to wait before executing the next instruction. Afterwards, you can use move left to change the direction. A wait command. How long to wait before Um, so next line, wait number seconds. 
Wait, does it, do I have to place it in this? How many seconds? Let's say like two? Or is it just like this? Um, and then move left. Okay, and then... Um, oh, okay, two seconds is quite long. How about this? Ah, okay. I died, what? Oh, it's the spikes. Oh, okay. All right, we did it. Nice. Whoa. One more thing. You can use stop to make your bot stop accelerating. However, if the bot is in the air at the time, it will still keep its speed until grounded. The move command works anytime. Let's continue. Damn, look at this guy shmoved. Did you see him? He shmoved. Of trial and error. <laughs> oh boy, momentum. Okay, cool, cool. Um, Three lines. All right, neat. So, next stage. Huh. Whoa! Grappling hooks are cool! Yo, these are energy orbs. They need to be picked up to charge the portal. Try picking up this one. You can see all available commands by clicking the uh, question mark button. Alright. Oh, oh! We've got extra, like, shortcuts of right click on the line, add, remove, skip point. What's a skip point? Reset level, alt shift, start instructions. Uh, shift arrow key, grow selection? Ah, oh, probably to select more lines, right? Uh, we can worry about that later. So we got move, wait, and stop. So, move, left, wait. Uh, how many seconds? Maybe two. Uh, then, move, right, wait. Maybe, f this looks like it'll be about three seconds. Move, left. And then, wait, maybe about... Three seconds and move right. Let, let me see if my estimates are correct. Okay. All right. Okay. Maybe. Ooh. Ah! Oh no, my boy. Wait. Okay. Maybe. You can right click any line in the editor. The simulation will then fast forward until that line is. <gasps> Whoa! Like this. Wait. Right click any line in the editor like this. Oh! Oh, interesting. Okay. So... Oh, neat. Okay. No, he died it too! 1.5 seconds. Ah! Okay! Huh! Alright, neat, neat. Debugging, I guess. I programmed an assembly in my microcontroller class, so I think we could survive today. <laughs> okay, if you say so. Breakpoints with no breaks. Breakpoints with no breaks? Question mark. Um, I guess yeah. It's it's given us the simple stuff right now. So uh, let's see how long it takes until I start crying. Hi. Time for a new command. Jump. Oh, you can probably imagine what it does. <clears throat> I'm, I'm breaking robot character. You should also know that it won't have any effect if your bot isn't grounded at the time. Try to jump here. Um, move. Right. Wait. Uh, 0.5. Um, uh, jump. And then... Wait. Zero... Actually, yeah, 0 0.2 seconds maybe. Jump. Wait. 0 0.2... Oh, wait, no. Hmm. Uh, let's... Let's see how this goes first. Oh. 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 Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's like, like 0.1 second. I think it's less than a sec. Like, less than 0.1, isn't it? Oh no. That's fine. Specifying the wait time so you can simply use wait until... Or wait while. Until? While? What is this? Your bot will then execute the next command as soon as the condition is met. You can wait for various states, but wait until ground it will be most useful here. Okay. Alright, so move right. Wait for the jump. Okay, then jump. Um, and then... Let me see. Wait until grounded. And then jump. Can I copy-paste the previous line? Wait, let me just double check to see if I have anything in my notepad right now. Oh, it's just the YouTube chat. So, can I copy paste this? Oh, I can. 
All right, now let's run it. Wait. Oh, very cool. All right, very neat. Huh. I wanted to play this game when I started programming first time. Really? How's stream going? Stream's going okay so far. <laughs> so far. Um, For this game, we'll play it for about an hour. And then we'll get into the meteor <laughs> Python programming. To say the least, I'm a little nervous. It's like a while loop. Hmm, okay. Okay, what's this next one? He's so cute. He's so tiny. Hey, I've been waiting to show you. What are what are we doing? Is it the grappling hook? These are boosters. Booster. You don't need them to finish the level, but they give you a nice speed boost in the direction it's moving. Okay. Try this one. Am I able to jump to it? Move. Right. Wait. Jump. Oh! Wee! All right. This game also, uh, what you call it? Mm. Can I restart? Oh, okay, there we go. So this game also has a bit of an emphasis on what's it called? Um, speed running, basically. Uh, move left, jump, and then I think that should be fine, right? I think that should be fine. Let's see. Oh, oh, okay. Mm, no, no, that that is not okay. Wait, how long should we wait? Wait, maybe one second, actually. No, that's way too short. <laughs> what am I doing? Um, three seconds, perhaps. Oh, I forgot about jumping. Um, coming through. Look at him go. He's so fast. 0.5 seconds, perhaps? I think this should be okay. Okay, wait, no, that's too... That's too long. <laughs> it's too long. Ah, yeah. Hang on. Maybe just two seconds, then. There we go. Yeah. I wonder if there's an another thing you can do with that booster down at the bottom. Beat your high score efficient coding time. Yeah. Thank you for provide for voice acting the bots in character, but of course I have to. Okay. I wonder if more I would like to try playing this game. Okay. Ayo, time to learn about your most powerful tool. Oh, the grappling hook. Oh, that's so cool. Look at it. Wee! Oh, oh, the hook. You can use it to swing around any solid object. It's super useful for changing the direction of your bot is moving without losing any speed. I'm guessing is that it's not the same status as being grounded. You could start simply by walking off here and then swinging around this box using hook right. Okay, all right. Move right. Wait. How many seconds would that be? I don't know. Let's give it like point three. Hook right. All right. Let's see. Oh, oh, oop. <laughs> mm, my boy, no. How about one second? Um, no, that's not it either. Two seconds? Oh, no, that's too long. Mmm, <laughs> I love guesstimating. You can then use unhook to detach. Okay. Um, how many seconds would I have to wait through? Point. Are there any new commands that we can use? Or like, no, I don't think so. What is... What does this do? Time scale, velocity, grounded... Ho oh, interesting. Oh, you can add ghosts. Alright, inter interesting. 0 0.5 seconds. Unhook. Alright, let's see how that goes. Oh, I missed the thing. But at least I'm there. Um, Maybe we have to unhook at a sooner time like this. Oh, too soon. Okay, how about this? There we go. But then... I'm not able to get into the... Hmm. Wait. Wait. Until... Ooh. Ooh! Ooh, wait. There's more conditions. Okay, I didn't see that. Wait until grounded. Jump. If I jump up at the right time, will I launch myself with the booster? 
into the portal? I might. Let's, let's, let's find out. That, that's what I'm thinking. No, I absolutely miss it. So... Um, okay. What What is necessary here? Um... Okay, um... I need to get the thing to unlock the portal, the, the red funky stuff. But then... Um... Huh. Shit. <laughs> Wait. W where else can I go? Um, cause if I like, if I swing here, I end up launching myself here. But then, hmm. And then, hmm. Hmm. Portal. Hmm. Ooh. This. <laughs> this. Hmm. <laughs> Hang on. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Where else can I swing to? Cause like, I could alternatively swing like this? I don't- can I swing like that? I don't know. So... Hmm. Hang on. Maybe I can like, swiggle my- sw sw Swing wiggle! <laughs> sw swiggle! <laughs> swing wiggle my way. Like, go here. Left, and then immediately right. Hook myself, and then... Like, swing this way, and then jump into- I don't know! Um... We'll find out. Wait... Move right. Wait, 1.2 seconds. Move left. Wait, let's see how far that gets him. Okay. And then... What happens if we move right immediately after? Oh, shit. Wait, no, that just cancels it out. Wait. Uh... Mmm, that's too soon, that's too soon. Oh, wait, there is... a platform there. Ah! Um... I didn't realize that that was a platform. Hang on, wait. Um... Hook, right. And then wait... What did we put last time? Uh, I don't remember how many seconds. Let's make it two. On... Hook. Because if we can just use the platform, then we can just jump over, I believe. So let's see how far this will. Oh! Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh no, that, that's not it. That's not it, Chief. About 0.2. Let me right click this. Okay. Ah! Uh. 0.5? Okay! Oh, wait, that works, that works. Alright. And then unhook, wait. How many seconds? Uh, let's make it like one and jump. Wait until grounded. Jump again. Will he be able to make it? I wonder. Um, we'll find out. Okay, hang on. Should be less than a. Make it point one. Because I don't know if I want him to jump immediately after being grounded. Oh yeah, wait, that works. Are they? Eh? What the? Why didn't he jump? He didn't jump. He was supposed to jump again. Uh, the. Hang on, wait. Until grounded. Let's run- let's- let's run that through again. Okay, and then... Oh! Wait! He does not reach it. Hmm. Slight concern. Unhook. I think I need to move left a little bit. Um, <laughs> unhook. Wait until... Wait, no. Until grounded. Move left. Wait. Point one. Move right. And then... this. Sh I should change this to wait. How many seconds? Point one, maybe? Let's run that through. Okay. Alright. Yeah! Nice! Okay, all right. The right wall, I don't- I think it has to be like a brighter uh, solid object, so... I don't think like just straight up walls, like the, the corners, the, the sides of the screen count. But we can find out, but it worked. Oh! Arisa! Hello! Welcome to the stream! Hi, hi! Didn't know there's a programming game? In fact, we have two today, in fact. <laughs> Thank you for checking out today's stream. Wait, let me give you... A wrench. Where's the wrench? Here you go. I give you a wrench. 
the swiggle command next. Shut up. Uh, also, guys, go check out Arisa. She has a very pretty singing voice. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. Um, let me see. I didn't know you knew me either. Hello. <laughs> Well, I, you know, I've seen a lot of different VTubers, so yeah. <laughs> okay. The swiggle command? It's the swing wiggle command. <laughs> anyway, wait, where's, where's the game? Okay, can you guys hear the game? It's like the music's very, very quiet for some reason, but the sound effects are quite loud, even though I fixed the settings. All right, let's go to the next one. What is he going to teach us? Quick tip. You can use the hook down to shoot the hook diagonally down. This is extremely useful for something like this. Oh, cool. What? Okay. Um, oof. He died. No. Um, so if we want to hook him, I see that there's a boost there. If you want to go like super fast. All right. So what we can do is move, right? Wait, how many seconds is this? Let's make it like one second. And then jump. And then I would want him to like... Uh, wait, point one, hook, down, left. Wait, let's see. Oh, okay. No, that's, that's, that's too fast. Wait. Okay, so move right, wait. Maybe like 1.5 seconds, jump, wait. One second maybe? Alright, let's see how that goes. Alright, cool. Ah! Oof, okay. Maybe... Hang on. We shouldn't be... Because it, it, it boosts you in the direction that you're already going. So, like, if you're already going in, like, a very... Um, how do you say direction? What's a very high-angle direction? You're just gonna launch yourself upwards. So, wh what we would want him to do is while he's coming down-ish to grab the boot. I, I don't know if that's possible, though. Is it possible? I don't know. <laughs> um... So, what do we make him wait just 0.5 seconds? Oh! Oh, wait! We're onto something here. We're onto something. Uh, what if we made 0.8? Um, we hear it? Audio good. Pipi and Ovitribus can sniff each other out! Maybe, you're right? Maybe. Also, Alkaios! Thank you so much for becoming a Silver Raven! Welcome! Or rather, welcome back! <laughs> uh, that was a long time coming. We gotta do that trigonometry tangential vectors. Ooh, <laughs> math! Math and Kogsai. Oh, ah, wait, we're, we're kind of close. Hang on, maybe let's wait 1.2 seconds and then let's fast forward to this one. Ah, a little too, a little too late. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, and then after this line, we can wait. It goes by pretty fast. So it's been 0.2 unhook and then he'll continue going left um wait he'll he'll keep walking let's make it wait like 0.5 seconds um also remy thank you so much for the 12 month membership flex one year membership two cheer to sky three huh four oh sky love thank you thank you thank you um if we're gonna wait make him wait because I want him to drop down from the middle platform, down onto the conveyor belt. Get him to stop so that he doesn't... Oh, wait, no. We're speed running this. We don't want him to stop. <laughs> um, 8.5 seconds. Move. Right. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so we got that. Oh! Wait. No, we should... Ah! Okay, wait, wait, wait. No. It needs to be longer than that because he still needs to continue walking left. Okay. So, oh, uh, <laughs> uh, um, hmm. Oh wait, no. He, this is the part that's wrong. Wait, wait, wait. This is the part that's wrong. Okay, let's take it one second. How about that? Too long. Point seven. Hmm. Still too long. Five. No, we gotta make use of the momentum. Point three. Too soon. Four. <laughs> ah, wait, my other problem here is... Uh, this. Hang on. How about... Like this. Wait, why is it immediately going into the move right command? Wait. 
Can we... Ah, wait, no, okay, because he doesn't have a move left. Oh, okay, it's because he doesn't have a move left command. Because the previous... Oh, it's just... Oh, I thought he was moving left. Because he already swung to the left, but we didn't give him a command to move left. Okay, I see. I see the error of my ways. All right. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, let's wait until grounded. There. Okay, cool. How about this? Oh, oh, he's trying his best. Wait, can we get him to move faster by jumping? Move right. Like this. How about this? Oh, okay. No! <laughs> um, after the jump. Um, wait. Point two, move left. Wait. Point one, move right. Because you can kind of shift his movement in the while he's falling or we could hook it actually hooking it might be best wait so um thing is we need to make sure that he doesn't crash into the thing where is it it's this one right can i wait wait what no let me hang on huh? hang on wait let's remove the rest of this code so, we get him to run this. Um, jump, wait one second. Move left. I just want to see how far he gets doing this. Oh, I think it should be 1.5 seconds then. Okay. A little too late. No, oh, sorry, a little too soon. So, 1.6. Move left. Wait, point one. Move right. Hook right. How about this? How does it, how does this go? <laughs> oh, oh, like, ah! <laughs> um, wait. Point one. <laughs> wait, how many seconds should I make away? <laughs> Do they teach you the syntax in game a little bit? And then you also kind of have like a guide here. What's a tick rate? Change how often the simulation is updated per second. Huh? What does that do? <laughs> what does that do? <laughs> I don't... Repeat and repeat and repeat clause. So you can oh you can repeat stuff. Say, make the bot spell out something. <gasps> oh, wait. Hang on. Say, um, two seconds. Yeah, sure. Hello world. Wait. Do I have to put it in brackets? Do, do I have to put in bracket? Where's the say command here? Okay, say... Sure. Hello world. He's going to die soon. <laughs> error? There's an error? Wait! Oh, okay. No, it's just because we didn't fill this in. Uh, seconds. Yeah, sure. Let's leave it one. Uh, hide the commands. Wait, I didn't get to see him say the thing. Oh, wait. Waiting one second is way too long. 0.5 maybe. Also, let's not um, do that. I want him. To, I wanted to say something. Oh, there he goes! Hello, world! And then he's going to disappear from the world. Oh, close, but not quite. Ah, there is an issue. Um. Oh my God! Wait. Hang on a second. Looking at this, you see that there's like. The only entrance is here. We need to go. We need to jump straight into this. So I think rather than rather than trying to swing into it, what we should do is just stop here and jump straight upwards. Okay. So we've already managed to get him to grab this right. Am, am I mistaken? Have we? Okay. So we don't need him to hook. So he doesn't need to hook anything. Um. Stop. Okay, let's make him wait like one second. Is that good? Um, not enough. Maybe 1.3? Eh, 1.25 seconds. Stop and then jump. <laughs> no! <laughs> he launched himself into. Oh my god, no! Okay, stop. Wait. Point one. There, that should be enough, right? Ooh, wait, there's still momentum going. Hang on. 
bots really are stupid. <laughs> How about this? It's good. Still a little too much. Just make one point two. Hmm? Okay, you know what? You know what? Move left. Move left there. <laughs> Never mind. I think I really just have to get him to stop a little bit sooner. Wait. 1.18. Wait. And then wait. 1. Point. Must be 8.2. How about this? There we go. Very good. We did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> With 20 lines of code. Can you actually do this? In less lines of code? I wonder, maybe. <laughs> but, but thank you. Boss are only as stupid as you make them to be. Damn. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm the stupid one. <laughs> oh, okay, wait. Um, This is it for the demo. We are currently playing the demo. Also, wait, did we get any raids? I'm just double checking, did we? I don't know if we did. Did we? I'm scrolling, I don't think we did. Okay, all right. Um. I've heard about COBOL. Like COBOL bot, right? I've heard. So, no game no namai wa kita koto ga arimasu. So, COBOL. COBOL poi komando keishiki ni kanjiru. Jisai wa chigao da ro kedo. Actually, it's probably different. Ah, sokka. I see. I. <laughs> this is pretty fun though. This demo pala. The game is on sale. Yeah, it is on sale. And it is pretty fun. Um, I <laughs> I realize I, I have a fondness for games like these where you, you problem solve using um, skills and logic and stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> no, not COBOL, please. What is that? No, not COBOL. COBOL. I've heard about. What is this? Common business oriented language. It is imperative procedural and object oriented a compiler is a what is COBOL? english like computer programming language designed for business use what is this what is this is this a game it's not it's a language right it is a language isn't it reject those cookies what um <laughs> it's <laughs> you guys are reacting the same way to COBOL. As the people I know who react to Java, which is absolute horror. Um, <laughs> 40 plus year old programming language that is considered dead but is still used? Sounds like sounds like Latin. <laughs> oh god. Alright. Um <laughs> I uh, will look into it, but I don't think I'm gonna try using it. But anyway, we are going to start up the next game, which is um Joy of Programming. So I'm just going to turn off the capture here i need to clean up my sources there's way too many sources in here man <laughs> excuse me so i'm gonna turn this off real quick and then i'm going to exit the game <clears throat> how do i exit the game um back to levels quit all right so i've quit the game now let me start up joy of programming <laughs> now we're gonna do now we're gonna do a <laughs> Java. <laughs> uh, oh man. Okay, so wait, thing is loading. Let me just um change the output of this thing. Cause I've got a mixer. So joy of programming output device, put it to wavelink game. Hopefully you guys hear it, else I'm gonna have to restart the game. Um Wait, let me see. Is this enough? Is this working? <laughs> uh, put the wavelength over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's working. All right, you guys should be able to hear it. Okay, now game capture. Change it to Joy of Programming. Turn that on. And give it a moment. There you go. Wait. Um, there's a really cool, like, opening cutscene thing where, like, it shows you a laptop. And in a 3D world, more Python, I think, for Java. Pro yeah, Python. Um, my favorite programming language, Factorio. I've heard about that game. Is it fun? 
I, is it fun? Devil version? Yes. I've, I've gotten the devil version because I'm scared. Because, like, what if I don't understand anything? And I don't like it. And I start breaking down and crying. And, you know. <laughs> it's fun. It's addiction. Today I learned there's a real coding language called brain. <laughs> really? Huh. Okay. But, um... Because I am enjoying these games, I am planning on getting them, like, you know, since they're both on sale. So, yeah. So, the scenarios, as you can see, I did a little bit of the tutorial. Also, this text is the same default text that you get in Renpy. Of course, yes, it's built off of the same engine. I mean, same language, but, like, I don't know. I just feel like I'm playing a visual novel. Uh, Game Fest, no, no, it's okay. It's on sale. No need for funds. Thank you, though. If you break down and cry, it'll at least make for a very clippable stream. Okay, so let's go with the, the welcome tutorial, this one. This is the one that um, I tested out and got a little overwhelmed with and had Skybro explain everything to me, so... Alright, don't worry, this, this is just the loading screen. But the effects are really cool, though. Welcome. Alright, so... Um, you, can, you can pan the screen around, you can zoom in, zoom out, and... You you code the 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 things to to do stuff, <laughs> but in the meantime, it's just showing us uh, what it does and what it can do. Wait, is is the okay? Is the game audio alright? I think it shouldn't be too loud. So you can inspect objects and make them do stuff by clicking on them. And here we have the the thing. Um, <laughs> the menu that has buttons to do stuff, and if you hover over it, it has all of these big scary colored words! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> and, um, uh, so today I learned, or rather relearned what a boolean is. <laughs> it's a true or false state with thingy, or rather it checks if, some, if a state or a variable, a thing, is true or false. So, <laughs> um, uh... I'm using a clicky keyboard. I'm using a linear mechanical keyboard. I, I prefer quieter ones. Um, let me see. So, um, delivers is it the delivery container? This thing. So if the deliver button. What does this do? Delivers all objects currently inside the delivery box. Door must be closed for this to work. So, um, what the what the game wants us to do right now is use these buttons to get the box inside. So. What it wants us to do next is open the delivery door, which is this command here. Um, so, container equals delivery container dot first. I have no idea what that means. Um, container dot open door. I'm guessing that's the function, right? What, why does it look like actual code? Because this is actual code. Um, this was made by a professor. I'm not sure from what college. So somewhere in like America, I think. And um, what should I call it? Uh, this game uses real Python coding to get stuff to do stuff. <laughs> I forgot how to code now, but it looks like objects are functions. Yeah. And then I know that um, anything with a hashtag is basically a comment. So um, yeah, the hashtag sesame open. It opens the door. So um, I don't know what these are. Are these like states? Like if, if door is closed <laughs> and like um, get is door closed? I'm guessing it, it tries to check if the state of the door is closed. And if it isn't, so for the else statement, that means it is open, right? I think. Am I understanding this right? <laughs> anyway, let's open the door. So as you can see, door open. Wow. And then there's another aspect to this device, which is the conveyor belt. It wants us to click on it and you can set the target speed. So earlier I set it to like 5, but let's set it to like 2.9. Um, increase the belt speed to over um, higher than 0. Move slider than click button. Current speed 0, 0.0. So we can set it. So we've set it to... Oh, okay, it's moving. All right. Wait for the box to arrive in the container. Look at it go. Look at him go. Oh, there's sound effects. Neat. Okay, now it wants to close the door. So we click on this. And then close the door. Okay. So, delivery container dot find entity delivery container. Wait, what does it want to do now? I don't, I don't understand. I feel like I'm trying to overwhelm myself with all of this information, but now we just gotta deliver the box. And wow, we completed the first stage. 
num inside and store codes are the variables for that object. Oh, okay. So now I can click the finish button. Yippee! We got one star. Wait, why not? Oh, it's, maybe it's because I already finished this level. Anyway, let's go to the next one. It's also possible to use external IDEs like VS Code or PyCharm instead of the built-in editor. A, a setup guide is on the steep... You can use... Can I use Notepad++? <laughs> oh god. The dot underscore stuff is behind the scenes code. Okay. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, uh, what's it called? Back door? Uh, no, no, what's it? Like, there's front end, back end, right? So back end stuff? Question mark? I th <laughs> VS Code is God. I don't think I've ever... I don't know if I've heard of that. Hmm. Alright. Isn't all code behind the scenes? That's my understanding of it. Shh, follow the game. I think it might teach you. <laughs> okay. Alright. The conveyor belt. Print. Hello world. What? What is this? I feel so intimidated. The infamous hello world program in Python prints hello world onto the screen. Yeah, that's it. Sorry. Okay. Print. A predefined function we can use. Print does exactly what the name implies. Print stuff onto the screen. Oh, I finally can understand what he's saying. We call or invoke a function with round brackets. Inside, we can write a literal string to be printed. We need to surround it with quotation marks, like quote unquote hello world here. All right. Huh? Or we could also print the contents of a variable. We omit the quotation marks in this case. Okay, so I guess it... Okay. Or put a number inside the function. So you don't need to put quotes around a number. All right. The same concepts apply to other functions as well, though they might have some different and more parameters. All right. Happy Cody! <laughs> oh, okay. Um... Use the Python use Python to start the conveyor belt and drop the barrel on the floor. Hint, mouse over the keywords in the code editor to see and to see help an examiner click it and press F1. Over the code window for this tutorial, the code is almost complete. Read it carefully line by line. Yes, po Yes, sir. Uh change the code to set the conveyor belt's target speed to over zero and then run the code. Welcome to your first Python script! Baby's first Python script. The line starts with a hashtag, meaning it's a comment for your benefit. Python ignores comments. The next two lines of code are always required, but can be ignored for the time being. From PyJop import. What is this? The Python Joy of Programming module always required as the first import to enable communication. Show more. Uh, okay. Um... Can I close this? Let's close that. Import. Keyword to import other modules. Okay, from. Keyword to import specific parts from other modules. Um, sim I'm guessing simulate environment. Static class to connect the current level and run the main loop. So I'm guessing the main loop is the body of the code? Kinda. All I remember is assembly sort of makes it easier for the computer to understand the commands. Assembly is like... What's it called? Closer to machine language, right? Because I know there's like a hierarchy of um, coding languages, like um, like operating systems are built on assembly, and up on top of that, you can build stuff like with like C plus C sharp, uh, Python. Yeah. Oh no, I might be learning stuff. <laughs> um, three to four is magic for this specific game. Huh? Which one? This, this, this stuff. Connect. Static function to connect to the current level and run the main loop. Okay. Okay. Um, print hello world across the screen. Print quote unquote hello world. Wait for one second. Sleep. Delay execution for a given number of seconds is automatically scaled. All right. Variable con conv pointing to the conveyor belt. All right. So conv. So the variable um, is conveyor belt. And like the value of that is this stuff in here. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm making sense because I'm not using the, the terms that <laughs> the actual software engineers would use, but like, okay. So whatever is what whatever is in here. It's a, wait, I don't <laughs> what? Anyway. Um conveyor belt. Hang on, can I mouse over this? 
Conveyor belt with variable belt, variable belt speed for transporting objects can move objects forwards or backwards. Also has a sensor to check if it is transporting any objects. Find entity conveyor belt zero. Is this like the model? The entity is the entities are models, right? Cond is the variable and refers to the conveyor belt. Yeah, yeah, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, set the speed of the conveyor belt, positive values are forwards, negative or backwards, zero means stop. What if... What if I <laughs> What happens if I set it to a thousand? Okay, so we can run the code here. I kinda wanna- can I make it smaller? Cause I wanna see what happens to the conveyor belt. Alright, let's start it. Okay, it's initializing. Okay. All right, so drop it to the floor. It's not going as fast as I thought it would. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> oh my god, I feel so I feel so accomplished. I smacked something onto the floor. Oh god, it's rather um, immersive with the sound and everything. Congrats on moving the conveyor belt now. And invert this binary tree. What? Don't say big scary things like that! There may be a physical max speed. Ah, fair. Okay. Alright. Finish. Yay! I expected... <laughs> to 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 <laughs> for it to just fly. That would be funny. Oh, next is for the for loop. Whoa, long conveyor belt! Okay, let's go to the next one. Stuck with some coding problems? Solve it like the best programmers do. Google it. Use AI tools like ChatGPT with caution. <laughs> yeah, Google it. Google is your best friend. Yeah. Ah, yes, loops. Heck yeah, loops. Lucky kids these days using 3D in their first programs. <laughs> um, for loop. For loops. All right. Let's say you want to sum up numbers 1 to 99, and using GAUB summation is not allowed. So, okay. Alright. What is GAUB summation? The above code is a bad idea. Lots of typing, error prone, and not reusable. Mm, spaghetti code, right? Something like that. S equals 0. For I in range 100, S plus... Uh huh? Whenever you need to execute something repeatedly, using a loop is one of the was one way to go about it. This is a for loop that runs exactly 100 times. I indicates the current iteration number 0 to 99. Ah, right. Because um, 0 is counted as like quote unquote 1, right? I'm not sure we're making sense. Inside, note the indentation. We incre increment our current value of s by the current value of i. Alright, let's watch it go. Okay. 2, 3... Huh? What's S doing? Oh, wait, no, 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 I get it, I get it. Okay, right, because you're adding each number on top of the previous one rather than plus one, right? That, that would be a different code, right? Right, totally. Look at it go. Look at that big number. <laughs> S is just swiggling. <laughs> oh, God. I just means add to add the value of I to S. Right. Right, exactly, exactly. See, Skylight's smart. I'm, I'm, I'm learning here. I'm, heard, I'm learning from you guys. Happy coding. All right. This, feel, this feels like happy hunting. Uh, um, stalker. Oh god. Try the time control buttons in the lower right corner to reset, speed up, or slow down the simulation. Okay. You speed up. All right. Use the slow down. Which one? Which was the slow down? All right, reset. Okay, let's reset again. Open the perks menu. Ooh, unlock the Python four keyword within the perks menu. Oh. <gasps> so this is if. This is the for loop. List data structure. Enable the use of list data structure to create. Sequential collections of objects. So, like, make a list of objects? Advanced operators. Enable the use of advanced operators. Ex exponentiation. Example, 2 to the power of 3 equals 8. Oh, ex oh, okay. Neat. Modulus percent. 
x modulo 2 if 0 is, is 0 if x is even and 1 if it is odd what okay you know what too too many big words uh functions uh oh you can also unlock more lines of code network access the internet ram <laughs> what is all of this this is a lot of stuff Okay, no, 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 no. Focus, focus on the task ahead. If, if we get too ahead of ourselves, brain go explode. Okay, so get the four. Oh wait, we bought it. Okay. Oh, what, what is that? What, what is? Why is there fire? Why is it on fire? Uh, okay. Um, let's download more RAM. Yes, you need to download more memory too. <laughs> it wants us to burn boxes. Okay, so that's why we have a. A trash fire going on here. Th these look like tires. Are we burning rubber? Literally? I think we're literally burning rubber. Okay. Um, we've got a nice tire fire going, and we need to burn some stuff. Add one line of Python code within the for loop to start all conveyor belts to move the spawn boxes along the conveyor line. I'm sorry, I left a lot of boxes spawning. Oh dear. Okay, so. Um. Wait, it wants me to open the code, right? Um, hints for this tutorial, simulate environment. Find all the conveyor belts and save them in a list. Do I have to buy a list? Do I even have enough points for that? I do. Actually, I have enough points to buy all of these. Okay. Um. Um. <laughs> Iterate all conveyor belts. With a for loop, unlock from perks menu, for conveyor belts and all con for conv in all convs, print the name of each conveyor belt, print conv dot entity name, set target speed for each conveyor belt to five point zero in the next line. Wait, huh? So this is conveyor belt five seven eight two five seven eight two one zero three six four so there's a total of eight can't i just huh <laughs> wait wait there's more scripts oh wait no you can just you can just make more okay um print convert entity name hang on um if i run this will it print the names where will it print it though Okay, so yeah, it's printed all of the names. All right, cool. So what it wants me to do is set the target speed, right? Um, <sighs> hmm. Okay, how am I going to do this? So this con first. What is what is the code of this one? Let me guess. Is this? Oh God! What's it doing? If conv get is transporting set to go backwards to the speed of minus 2.5. Huh? Else not transporting, so stop moving. Set target speed zero. Okay, so if it is transporting something, may you move backwards. Um, okay. <laughs> um hmm. What am I supposed to do here? <laughs> um I just tuned in seeing the script stuff gave me PTSD when I took a C++ programming class in college. Okay, so, um, is this stuff moving? I don't think it is. But what we need to do... Okay, we want them all to move forwards, right, basically. So, how do I set the target speed again? Can I... How do I do- how do I apply it to all of them? Wait, <laughs> hang on. Cause like, we want to set them to all eight and we want it to be efficient rather than type the code for each and every conveyor belt, right? So wait. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> wait, Google, where are you? Google, where are you? Uh, um, how to make list of- what are these called again? <laughs> How to make list of um how to make list in Python Okay Google Wait okay I gotta give me a second I'm going to, I'm calling a friend Hang on I'm phoning a friend I'm 
muting. I'm muting. Okay. I got it, guys. <laughs> I'm totally not crying right now. <laughs> okay, so gotta set it under the con um, loop, right? So set. How, how do I do this again? Um, set underscore. Wait, hang on. Let me compare it to the code here. Underscore target speed. Five. Okay. $5 from oh my god, I'm checking. Thank you for the final super chat. Chat. <laughs> One of three lifelines <laughs> used. Was Kyra to continue when it wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> oh, oh wait, do I need to put con? Hang on. So is it? Hang on. Let me let me compare it to this. So, so conf dot. Like this, right? It's like this, right? Or do I have to like... Hang on... It's, it's, it's like this, right? <laughs> um... Mm, I think... I think... I think this is right! Right? Yeah? Yeah, you know what? The text is colored! That means something's correct! Run and find out! Crossing my fingers, please! <gasps> ah! Oh wait, everything is... Everything is kind of blocked. I don't think this is gonna move, guys. I think we have to reset this. Yeah, <laughs> we have to reset this. Anyway, run that code. Oh my god, congrats, Melka! <laughs> oh god. Wait, is it gonna spawn any boxes? I know it's running. Um... Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, we just had to wait. Oh my god, let it cook. Uh, <laughs> but like... But like... Hang on, wait, we can speed this up. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Oh my god, that's the real I to do! Uh, <laughs> Don't worry, you'll still feel like this even when you're paid to do it. <laughs> I think you're psyching yourself out a bit, maybe. <coughs> Memory, 1 out of 128 megabytes. I can only use 128 megabytes? Okay. Great to Oh, we did it! For loop completed the- This is a good one, I don't- Okay. For those of you who are like comp sci students, at least you already had some prior knowledge. I have literally forgotten everything I've ever learned in regards to coding. I kid you not. Okay, let's finish boiling. Okay, so a little bit of description about my history. When I was about 11, 12 years old, 
I was curious about learning C++ So I did a little bit of online reading on it Did a little bit of code Did the hello world And did like a little bit of easy math in it And I was already impressed with that And then I showed it to my dad And he's like, yo, that's pretty cool That's pretty sick And then like, um, I dropped it <laughs> And then like when I was like 15, 16, um, <laughs> I ended up, uh, what was it? What did I do? Taking up RenP, I coded some visual novels with like time choices. So I learned how to do that, but this is still very different. <laughs> it's your dad, Jesse Pink. <laughs> oh my God. Sky knows two things, swiggle and gaub. <laughs> Time for Eve. Good night, Sky. Good night, Crimson. Gamba, and hopefully your brain doesn't explode too much. We'll find out. We'll find out. Oh my God. So this is why they said you needed some prior knowledge. I oh God, I really needed that prior knowledge. Visual novels with timer. You're evil. <laughs> oh man, I remember cop coding in Ren P. That was actually fun. It was fun, and like it is a very good introduction point. I think. Except that I just copy pasted everything I found on Google into the, you know, into the, 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 the thing. <laughs> um, use the clear button in the code editor to reset your code to a default boilerplate. In the tutorials, these include a lot of hints. Okay. <clears throat> if conditionals, I need water. Import random. A equals random dot random. If A... It's less than 0.5 print heads, else print tails. These are five lines of code to simulate a coin flip, but why under 0.5? Oh, uh huh. Okay. We draw a continuous uniform random number between 0 and 1. O okay. How do you set the limits for that? Because it's like random, won't just print anything? Huh? What is the square? Branch the code execution. Okay, right. Oh, it's the the, the, the flowchart thingy, the coding diagram thingy that people make. Print heads, print tails. Okay. So if it's 0.1, that's less than 0.5, it'll print heads. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I get it. Uh, <laughs> but this is actually very useful, seeing an emotion like this. 0.7, print tails. All right. Uh, so random's only from a scale from 0 to 1. Okay. Logic tree. Yeah. <laughs> If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Every programmer uses copy paste more than their compiler. I see. Okay, all right. So, what does the game want me to do with with this? All right. So it just explained to me how it works. All right. Wait, no. That's a good thing. Why am I saying it as if it's not a good thing? Okay, select the laser range finder to learn more about okay, so it wants Oh, 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 fear. What was that? Anyway, laser finder. RFID! We've got RFIDs! Range distance. Returns the distance in meters as measured by this range finder. It returns max distance if nothing was found. Okay. So this is as far as it scans. That's neat. Mouse over the RFID to learn how to get the RFID tag with Python. Click it to copy the function name. I wonder if this is actually how they get RFIDs. I'm, I'm nervous for some reason. Okay. All right. Returns the RFID tag on the entity currently hit by this range finder. Returns empty string if nothing is hit or target has no RFID tag. Okay. Um... <clears throat> Rangefinder.first tag scanner dot get RFID tag. If tag equals box print, it's a box. Um if tag if el uh, else if is this an else if? E, e uh, yeah, I guess that is an else if. What does else if do again? Oh anyway, I'll find that out later. Um if the tag is not empty, so like if it actually is if it's a box with a tag or anything with a tag, it is a plus tag. So whatever the data is in that tag thing, right? RFIDs have an ID number or tags, so basically, yeah, okay. You can ask this, oh wait, what does this want me to do? Write some Python code to move five barrels to the container on the right. Currently zero to five, move five boxes to the container on the left. Okay, okay, so it's going to spawn items and um, this scanner will detect what that item is. So if it's a, if it's a barrel, we want the conveyor belt to move to the right. 
I need to find out which which way is. Sorry, wait, no, it wants me to move the stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, which one is forward? Which one is back? Is the question. You can ask the system for help if you're if you are stuck. See top center buttons. Oh. Well, you can ask the system anything. It is only good at answering a set of predefined questions. Start typing to see a suggestion of questions you can ask. Narrow it down with useful search terms and select one of them predefined question. All right. <laughs> All right, so, um, conveyor belt. Um, okay, um, so, co the, the code, all right. All right, okay, I know what I need to do. Question is if I can figure out how to do it. Okay, so we got conveyor belt, all right, cool. Scanner, range finder, while, sim, run main, add your code within this loop, mind the indentation. Okay, so I need to put an if statement, right? Somewhere here. Hence, use variable con to control entity conveyor belt. Okay, so what was my code like earlier again? Uh, so okay, tag scanner to get RFID tag. Does this thing have a tag? Does this thing say anything with like box? Okay, so it's RFID tag box. Okay, I need to set the thing. Um. So, actually, I don't have to do anything with the tag stuff, right? So, if... Do, do, can I set it in here? So, if... Um... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Um... Okay, tag equals scan dot get RFID tag. If tag... How do I... If tag... I don't know if I'm doing this right. Um, hmm. Hmm. Wait, no, I have to get the get get the thing right. No, wait. Hang on. <laughs> okay. Hang on. I need I need a sample code to look at. If. Else Python uh sample sample okay <laughs> okay so if condition all right so if where is it if number equals ten okay if tag do I have to make a space equals box huh Fact box? Entity fact box? What? What? Wait. Hang on. Wait. Wait, no, 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 that's not it either. <laughs> um. Mm. Does it have to be quote unquote box? I think it has to be quote unquote box, right? Hang on, I, I'm pretty sure this isn't right. Uh, uh. Where's the code for the conveyor belt again? Um. I can copy paste this, right? And then. Set target speed. I think it should be like minus. Minus five, right? Like this, right? Is this is this the same tab bit thing? Is this the same? Yeah. Wait. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Wait. I don't. Cause like I know if it's not if the stuff isn't colored right. Then it's. Oh wait, no. It it does have color. Okay. Hang on. Wait, the conveyor- wait, I have to set this to go for the conveyor belt function thing, right? <laughs> wait, Rust and Dragon, thank you for the tip! No, you're on the right track, keep going. Okay, else... Tag... I guess, cause like, I only really need to state one thing, cause if it isn't a box, it's- it's anything other than a box, and we don't have anything else, except for a barrel. Else... Can I just go straight into code? Tag equals... Wait, hang on. What, what is it? What is it listing here? Um... 
Okay, tag. Can I just... Like this? Oh, wait, where's the thing? Set target sp speed 5. Like this, right? Did, oh, wait, hang on. There. Does, does Will this work? <laughs> Somehow I feel like this won't work. Um, and I also just hope that I managed to get the values right. We'll find out. So, we run it. Oh, we've got invalid syntax. Maybe you meant equals equals. Oh, okay, yeah, let's put equals equals. All right, so, run. Will it work? Mm hmm? Syntax error expected. Uh, oh, this? So, do I remove that? Wait, expected? Wait. What does it want me to do? You still need the con Ah. So is it- was it conv? Dot? Wait, no, how does this work again? Um... Yeah, it's con dot. I forgot about that. But then it's expecting the, the thingy doohickey. What? What does it want me to do here? Do I have to, do I have to put it like this? No. <laughs> Wait! What is. What's with the call? <laughs> what's with the call? <laughs> Wait! Hang on. Where's the sample code? Where is it? Wait. Um. Hang on. If print okay, if number is greater than zero, print number is positive, and print the same as y executes. Okay, okay. What's the other one? If else, the body of else statement. Okay. So, actually, wait. No, we remove the tag from here, and then will it run? No, <laughs> no. Um. Huh? Am I- I'm looking at the same thing, right? This is- this is Python, right? Uh, this- this is Python that I'm looking at, at programis.com Um, huh? Sorry, I'm trying to compare Huh? <laughs> okay if the oh does that be e e does that have to be like this? No. Okay, that didn't fix anything. Uh, <laughs> uh shit, I need another I need another example. Uh wait, what's what's chat saying? You need the after the box line. The box line. Oh here! Wait, for real? Is that necessary? I, I guess it is. Wait, st stop moving. Does this work? Oh my god, wait! Huh? Um, oh, that's a... That's a bit of a stream risk, but uh, thankfully... Yeah, this is my work computer. <laughs> anyway... What's it s what did it say? Okay, this game, not ideal for streaming. Let me just put that... Just let me just put that out here. Okay. Um Are you trying to ask chat for anything? Not not yet. Roaring John, thank you for the six months membership flex. I've been thinking about getting this game a while ago. Looks like it could be fun, even if, even if it likely won't do enough for Python maybe. What do you want me to do? How do I open the console? Oh wait, there we go, the log. Tag is not defined. Huh? What do you mean tag is not defined? Wait, no, I have to- sorry, it shouldn't be just box, it should be- Ugh, scary. It should be... Oh yeah, the value of get RFID tag. Um... Wait. If tag equal- wait, uh, huh? Wait, okay. So... <laughs> tag is not yet defined. Oh, the tag is not yet the Huh? But... But it defined it as box. Steal from line 21? So, wait, where do I put this? So, do I just copy this? And then put it like... Like that? 
Is is that what I have to do? Code works top down. You have an initialized tag get with your code order. Wait. So, like. So you mean to do this? <laughs> oh, um. Is, is it like this? If tag equals use box, as there's a box, tag itself has no value. Yes? Bingo! <laughs> Dude, are you kidding? It's not okay. Right. Is it really? Is it really just that? Is it really? okay? Let's run it. Let's run it. Please run. <gasps> oh, we're doing it. Oh yeah, it's it's just going to continuously keep going. Um, as long as it doesn't sense anything. Maybe I should put a statement for it to just stop if it doesn't sense anything. Because what if it accidentally just keeps pushing it? Oh, 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 oh! See, like that. See what I mean? Well, I mean, it works. It's not very good, but it works. <laughs> Since you don't have a duck for the rubber duck method, grab a mech and extend your code to it. If it works, it works, I guess. Okay, so let's speed this up a little bit. Yeah. Yay! We're doing it! Oh my god! <laughs> if conditional's completed! Yeah, got enough ship into production! <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to. I don't know if I'd want to do that. <laughs> I feel like this could be a very big um, health and safety hazard. <laughs> Oh god. Alright. So, ah, is that it? Do you only get to do it with tutorials? I guess so. Um, well then, what is, what is that? So yeah, main menu. So that's, um, that is the demo version. I can only imagine that there's more crazy things that you can do here. I, I'm kind of tempted to get, like, should I buy both of them now? <laughs> Git commit prod go? What? The entire digital world is made by people cutting as many corners as you. <laughs> really? <laughs> Not gonna lie, the first one is a fun one. Yeah, the first one is fun. Um, but like, oh god, this... Yeah, I think this... I'm gonna need to warm up first before I play this. They won't be on sale for very long. Get them, yeah. Um, in the meantime... Let's go talk. Let's let's go have a chat. I'm gonna go to the chatting screen now. Ooh. That was certainly something. Okay, wait, let me get some music. And don't worry, I do plan on getting the games. Tomorrow's the last day? Oh, well then good that I decided to test them now. Wait, where is where's my music? Um Okay, warning, this might be loud, so prepare yourself. Yeah, it's a bit loud. Okay, there we go. Set it down to 19. Minimize. All right. That was the thing that happened. Today's sky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a big May time. 12 hours left on the spring sale. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll get them. I'll definitely get them. Um, Thing is, if... You know, I kind of do want to stream more of this. But, okay. Confession time. I did cry. <laughs> I did cry a little bit. <laughs> With face in the first tutorial. <laughs> ah, <laughs> like when I when I phoned in with my <laughs> with my lifeline, I <laughs> I called for help, sky bro. And then when I started to look at him, there was a tear. I was about to say scrolling. Oh god, a tear streaming down my eye, <laughs> my face. Oh god, sky had a little bit of a breakdown and stream as a treat. Oh god, but um. That was fun. I actually do want to do this more. Yeah, Rasen Gregory, thank you for the five dollars super chat. Sometimes, Sometimes we'll have an error. error. You will try to fix it for half an hour, and it was just a semicolon missing. Oh god! See what I see, Cody. <laughs> oh man. Um. Oh god. Like, I I will get the games, and then we'll see which one we'll play next. I feel like. The, the robot one, uh, the platform one, is a bit more fun to watch. Uh, but, I don't know, having a mental breakdown like this, you know, it's interesting. It's kind of- wait, you know what? 
I think I really am just one crazy masochist because I'm actually really enjoying understanding the Python one. It's it's the same feeling I got as trying to solve the the, the problems we faced in um the 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 Mars first logistics. It's also the same kind of feeling I get when playing Dark Souls. <laughs> Semicolons, another reason to hate C++. Duskers is kind of like the first one. It was also a horror game? A horror game like the first one? What? Okay. It's just problem solving normal to like that. Mm. Okay. There is something entertaining watching you struggle <laughs> with, with games. Are you calling every programmer masochist? Yes. To a degree, perhaps, maybe. It's always fun to watch you play these U games. And yeah, and you guys get to see them and try them out too. So if you've enjoyed anything that you've seen so far today, do consider getting them in the Steam sale um, last day today. And um, if you like this stream, please go check out the Mars First Logistics stream as well. Same vibes. <laughs> Same vibes. And um, the Sky Shinier Sampler streams are always fun. Yeah, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying these. Um, I do want to continue this some other time though. Yeah. Okay, so I did want to tell you guys that Blaze, I believe, is having a Twitter space. So if you got a Twitter, you can go over there and hang out with her because her PC got borked and I think she's fixing it up, but she might be able to stream later. I'm not sure. We'll see. Actually, is she live right now? I haven't, I haven't checked Twitter yet. Um... Uno momento. Let me refresh the page. -o. Um, is she live? No, not yet. But okay. Um, we should look for something to raid into, though. <laughs> she had a short stream earlier. Oh, so she finished. Oh, okay. She streamed earlier. Hopefully, all is fixed. Ah, she's functional, but wanted to do this Twitter space anyways. Oh, okay. Navi should just be starting, I think. Oh, okay then. We could kill a little bit of time while we're here. Um, let me see. What are some things that I wanted to share with everybody? Hmm. Oh, health update. So I told members that I'm currently on antibiotics, both oral and an uh, topical, but they don't seem to be doing anything for this mysterious wound scab that I've gotten. So um, might have another follow-up, uh, whatchamacallit, a follow-up what's it called uh, d d appointment with a doctor see if you know or maybe i should go to the doctor in person so yeah if it's scab it heal perhaps and the thing is it seems to be getting bigger i think um and it has a bit of like a ring of inflammation around it so that's a bit of con it's, it's concerning it doesn't hurt or anything but um it's itchy <laughs> but yeah um Maybe we just have to give it time, unless it's already been a while. That's distressing. It's it's not that big of a deal until it gets worse, but you know what? I think it's okay. It doesn't sound good. Hopefully, the docs can help you. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the concern. I'm just updating you so you know what was, was going on and if anything happens. Yeah. Aside from that, taking antibiotics suck. I, I've never enjoyed taking antibiotics. They make my tummy worse than it already is. <laughs> um... Aside from that, um, let me see. I don't think I have any other news to share, but um, please go hang out with Kiki while you still can. If you have missed the announcement, um, she is graduating. Uh, when, when, when was it? When was it? But um, she has a lot of different streams planned. So if you would very kindly, you know, show her your your support while she's still here, I think it would mean a lot to her and a lot to me and a lot to all of us. Yeah. And let me see, March 30, yeah, I, I believe it's March 30. So um, last night for us, she had uh, a PNG tuber model that she made of her casual outfit. It's very, very cute. Please go check it out on her channel, Kiki Lockhart and Project Channel. Um, sorry, Kiki Lockhart channel and Project there, yeah. And yeah, that's right, her outfit that she drew is so good. She got that key cake. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then we have a Musea collab, which is tomorrow night for me, uh, which is like tomorrow noon time. Actually, yeah, tomorrow noon time for most of you, I think. So mm -mm -mm. it's a great model. There was a lot of effort in this play. Yeah, she's really, really great at pixel art, man. It's it's impress. It's really impressive. <laughs> 
It's evening for us. Yeah, in my schedule, it shows up at like Friday 11 p.m. Yeah, 11 p.m. to like around probably like 1 a.m. Something like that. Oh, uh, it's around the same time as our Outlaws <laughs> Outlast collab. Yeah. Um, and yeah. As for the members rewards, I'm getting there. <laughs> and I do hope to release it by next week. I will do my best. <laughs> uh, will her VODs still be available? I believe according to the announcement written by AN Project, most of her content should be available. Yeah. Um, I'm guessing stuff like members won't be public. But um, I think everything else should stay up. Yeah. Um, let me see. Is there anything else that I have to share? Uh, or update you guys on? I don't think so. So tomorrow's stream will be pretty... Uh, around Kiki time. Yeah, around Kiki time. So um, I don't have a stream tomorrow on my channel. It will be hosted on Kiki's channel. So yeah, please do see us there. It's it's the it's the three museum girls. Uh, now let's go see who we can raid into. Um... We've got, yeah, Nemo's streaming. Oh, Rocky's also streaming. Um, let's go raid into Nemo, though. All right, so let's save. She is doing teamfight tactics. Set 11 launch day. I have no idea what that means, but <laughs> let's go support her. All right, so Otsukai, everybody. Thank you for joining me today on my first day <laughs> in the computer. As a, the College of Computer Sciences. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, Ochikai de Chu. And hope you have a great day, good evening, good night. Oyasumi, matane. Bye bye. One one zero one zero one one zero zero one one zero one zero one one zero zero one one zero one zero one zero zero zero.